Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're going to do a little Teaching Tuesdays segment on the difference between picanha or tri-tip. Um, tri-tip or picanha, what's the difference? People get them confused all the time, but I'm going to show you the difference right now. All right, guys. Um, one of the reasons I want to go over this is because I see it a lot, and even in some of the uh, YouTube videos I've watched, where uh, people are cooking uh, what they think is a tri-tip or what they think is picanha, and they get the two confused because they do look kind of similar. Uh, they do come from a similar part of the cow, but they're really not the same. Um, picanha or the colette roast or the the top sirloin uh, cap roast is what you would normally get if you go to a Brazilian steakhouse like Texas de Brazil or several others that are around. Um, um, very popular in Brazil and it's part of the top sirloin section of the sirloin section. It's actually right at the top and usually they get confused between tri-tip because they both are triangular looking and if you look at both of those they do look kind of similar one of the things you can tell with the picanha i'm going to flip this over here is both of them do have a good fat cap on them this is the tri-tip here and this is the picanha so they both have a pretty good fat cap on them they do look similar so i can understand how people get confused with them and since they they do come from the similar part of the cow um, i'm gonna Put a link below to this chart i think everybody should have uh, an understanding of the different parts roast steaks of a cow if you're going to do any kind of cooking you know you really need to understand the difference between a brisket full packer brisket and just a brisket flat or picanha and tri-tip or top round and top sirloin because they're they're a lot of times they're a lot different you cook them a lot differently um, top top round which sounds like top sirloin is a lot tougher meat. You have to cook it a lot longer than a top sirloin. So I just want to kind of show you this, I'll bring it up close, but there'll be a link to this down below. I want to make sure you can see that the section I'm talking about is this sirloin section here. If you can see that, this is the sirloin section of the cow. Now the sirloin section here, if you look in that chart, that's the sirloin section and you get all these different kinds of cuts from the sirloin section. So you get a whole wide variety of cuts and they're all different. So you got your top sirloin steak, your top sirloin petite roast, your top sirloin filet, and then you got your colette roast which is the top uh, cap of the sirloin, top sirloin. So all this section here all comes from the top sirloin section. Then right below that, this is your Colette steak. So this would be, you know, steaks that are cut from this roast. And then right underneath that, you have your tri-tip roast, which this whole piece here is one, one whole complete muscle section. All right. So the tri-tip actually sits right next to this muscle. This is one big muscle here that's cut into pieces. But your tri-tip sits right up against it. And I'll link to a video that shows somebody butchering um, the hind quarter of a beef and shows you where they pull the picanha or the top sirloin and the tri-tip from. So, but then you got these here. This is another, this is the tri-tip steak. So it's that roast cut into steaks. Then you got petite sirloins and then, you know, a, a sirloin brevet steak. So I'm going to put a link to this chart in the description below as well so this also goes over you know the other sections of the cow which are your prime you rib your rib eyes your new york strips um, the shoulder clod where you get a lot of your top loin roasts and you get um, your flat iron steaks it's always good to have that chart so let's handy. get back to these roasts real quick so the picanha like i said this is more of a steak you want to cut this section you can do it into a roast but a lot of times you'll find this cut into steaks and served like at the Brazilian steakhouse. They keep this fat cap, most of this fat cap on 
because when this cooks you want some of this fat this is the good kind of fat that when it renders it makes it very tasty it uh, it's not very chewy once you um, get this cooked um, the right way it's a it melts in your mouth pretty much it's a really good kind of fat so but a lot of times like I said this is cut into strips into steaks and they put it on the skewers and they slow roast it over the fire but um, the tri-tip this particular you know, cut this particular not very, cut's not very popular in Florida I live in Florida and it's very hard for me to find this so I want to thank Matador Prime Steaks for sending me this and I'm going to mention them down below there's going to be a link to their website and for your first order for Matador Prime Steaks you can get 10% off by using the code that's but down it's hard below. for me to find tri-tip it's more of a regional piece of meat it's um, usually in the in the California Arizona area I don't know why but the West Coast uh, this is this cut is very popular um, I don't know why it's, it's not as popular on the East Coast or in the Midwest but it's just not I guess a lot of times it's hard to cut this piece out of the top sirloin and usually what they'll do is they'll just cut the top sirloin out and then everything else they'll throw into ground beef so a lot of times this will just get thrown into ground beef but it's a really good but one of the things uh, with this tri-tip you can tell it's a tri-tip is because of the way the grain goes if you look at this look at the grain on the uh, picanha it all goes one way into where the triangular shape kind of goes into a point it all goes one way on the tri-tip it actually goes two different ways you got this section here where the grain is going this side and then here it's going this way so the the, the grains kind of run over into this triangle here so you got two different grains going into here but this is supposed to be a lot you know pretty tender kind of cut of meat you just got to cut it the right way same with picanha when you cut this into steaks you got to cut it with the grain and then when you cut it when you're eating it you're going to cut it against so, the grain both of them are very tender they get cooked a little bit different um, you can cut them both into steaks the tri-tip is usually left as, as a roast and cooked um, either um, with a reverse sear or you can sous vide and you and can cut this into well. steaks you just got to be careful the way you butcher it like I said the biggest thing with the tri-tip is you got to look out for the way the grain goes because if you're trying to if you cut a steak with the grain and you try to bite into it it makes it a lot tougher um, if you cut it against the grain then you chew it it makes it a lot more tender so I hope this helps guys I hope so you can figure out you now like I said uh, <laughs> there's a lot of confusion out there and um, since they do look very similar if you can see they're both triangles so people will just see a triangle and go that's a tri-tip because it's got three points that's not a tri-tip that's a picanha that's a tri-tip um, picanha you can find uh, if you go to a Latin market if you have any Latin markets um, uh, you can ask in at your butcher at your grocery store if they don't know what uh, picanha is they'll, they'll know what Colette uh, roast is or top sirloin cap you can ask for that you might have to have them cut custom, cut custom uh, butcher it for you I know every once in a while you can find it at your grocery store but um, if you have any kind of Latin grocery stores in your market they have it usually so tri tip it's gonna be a lot harder to find um, you it'll be hard to find commercially you know at your local grocery store because the cuts of meat that they get are boxed beef and they usually don't have this particular matador part. prime steaks online has them if you look at the link below you can use the uh, code firewater 10 you get 10 percent off your first order but they're very fast at shipping these they have both the picanha and the tri-tip in stock and they carry a lot of other meats as well prime steaks pork chicken um, take a look at them uh, I like them the Matt the owner is very nice he sent me these to do take these a look videos. at the description down below for the meat chart for Matador Prime Steaks make sure you follow us on Facebook Instagram Twitter and make sure you like this video subscribe and I'll see you on the next video Thanks, guys.